Hi and welcome to the second video in our haymaking series and this one is a little bit special because as you can see it features some drone shots of the land at Dale Farm which has been taken by Nick um, so hopefully you'll enjoy those and enjoy seeing how we got on with our mowing at Dale Farm. So we've got all this to mow, field, field, field and the field over there. Good morning, so it is going to be day two of mowing. Uh, we just made a start yesterday um, but got the bigger portion to do today. Uh, it's not going to be all of the hay, it's just going to be the land that we've got up at the farm. We've also got some land that belongs to my uncle, um, we call it down the village. Um, and we'll do that, I think, more around the 15th of July. So this is the first big one. I've got my contractor sorted to bale it into large bales that will be wrapped for haylage. Um, so that'll provide the bulk of the winter feed. Um, and then we will also get some small bales at some point as well. So Nick's nearly finished up in that field and then we're going to make a start on this one. Um, so we've probably been going for about an hour, the best part of an hour. Um, yeah, exactly an hour. We started at nine um, and then probably in about an hour from now I'll have to pop down to the farm. We're juggling uh, campsite duties with uh, farm jobs today. Uh, some days we have help, some days we have less help with the campsite, um, but it is a busy time of year. So um, I've got about an hour and then I'm gonna pop back down and me and my mum are gonna tackle some of the campsite jobs, perhaps leave Nick moan for a bit and then swap over. Um, we're both enjoying it. So it's nice to be able to share and also, you know, learn the skills um, at the same time. Putting some of Nick's drone aerial shots in here, it's nice, I think, to see a different perspective and appreciate things from a different angle, one that we don't really get to see. So I was really interested in seeing it myself and hopefully you will too. Um, and it was such a beautiful day, really, really amazing, nice haymaking conditions. And so obviously it looks really nice on the camera. So I have just done a shift while Nick had a break. Um, we've been going since nine o'clock and it's now nearly one. So I've done half of that field there. Um, we decided to split it into two. 
halves uh, just to make it easier we thought um, so Nick's going to take over and do the other half um, and then by the time we've done that field we will be or maybe we are halfway about halfway maybe now continuously since 9am and it's now yeah. 10 to 2. So we have done three fields. Uh, I don't know how many acres it is, but three fields and this, maybe a small field to go? A big one and a small one. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm just having a little breather, pulling up a bit more ragwort. Um, this is a decent sized field um, and we've just got to do over here as well, this little field. I think that's only one acre and then possibly one more field today, but just uh, having a moment to just take it all in and go, wow! how the weather has changed. Here we go with a different perspective again from Nick's drone. And this was the penultimate field that we had to do we were mowing in total for nine hours that day so it was quite an epic day it's four o'clock and it's really warm now and we are on to the last uh, acre up here it's a small space, so I'm gonna let Nick do that. He's either more comfortable taking risks, or more confident, or more skilled, or all of them, really. I'm really pleased with how it's gone. Uh, you know, we've never mowed before. Uh, John never showed us how to mow. Uh, we were always too busy to to really help out. So, um, we've, yeah, I think we've done really well. Um, we've had a few people give us a few hints and tips here and there, and uh, and then we're just sort of. Um, the weather has done a flip reverse. <laughs> yeah. So the weather. We we did a, a few fields last night to get us started, and then. Um, and last night it was like a bit drizzly and and now it's now it's beautiful glorious sunshine so hopefully it stays that way until we get it bailed so what we're gonna do now uh, a cup of tea <laughs> and a coffee <laughs> As I said earlier in the video, this is all the land that we class as up at the farm and um, that belongs to the farm. But my uncle also has land down in Great Longston Village. And in the last few days, we've also mowed that. And that was about another 12 acres. So uh, we've certainly put some hours in in terms of mowing experience now and thoroughly enjoyed it. We've had a really hot, dry spell of weather here in the UK, particularly in Derbyshire. I know that areas uh, further north of us in the Peak District have had a lot more rain than we've had. Uh, it's definitely been unusually dry here, which obviously for making the hay has made it a lot easier that we've had a really good window of weather to get it in. 
but in terms of the pasture and how it's looking for the animals we're really short on grazing and if we don't get some rain soon we're going to be in quite a tricky situation certainly it wouldn't be in the plan to start feeding the winter feed already but if we don't get any growth then that is what we'll have to do so worrying times even though the haymaking period itself has been quite enjoyable in the next video we're going to be showing tedding the hay so we will be using the vintage tractors for that so it's going to be a completely different experience and again a new experience for both nick and i so this is the end of the mowing video hope that you've enjoyed it and uh, look forward to reading your comments and seeing what you thought of uh, the different views over the farm and just wanted to thank you for your uh, participation in our haymaking journey and thank you for all the love and support. So thanks for watching. Bye.